starts now at 6.30. $80,000 in prize money up for grabs next week at the Red Rock uh, Pro Open, celebrating 10 years of women's pro tennis in Las Vegas. Joining me tonight, tournament director Mike Copenhaver, and also we have a pro, a pro player, uh, Maria Mateus. Maria, we, we literally took you off the practice court yeah. to be here. Yeah. So thank you for being such a good sport. Thank you for uh, me. Mike, let's get first into it. You've been here 10 years. What do you love about playing in Vegas? Oh, man, I mean, the weather is beautiful. It's year round here. Um, the tennis community is, is pretty small, but it's very, uh, it's it's a niche group, and it's, it's, they're amazing people. I mean, it's, it's awesome. And you're doing some big things with this event, and yep. you're bringing in the families. There's actually a kids event yep. where kids can hit with pros like Maria. Yeah, we kick off the event every year with the Big Kids Day event. It's always the Sunrise Children's Hospital Kids Day. Uh, it's uh, actually Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. It's free for everybody to come out, all ages. Uh, Net Generation will be there doing all the 10 and under clinics. We have a lot of giveaways, prizes, carnival games, bounce houses, snow cones, face painting, all kinds of fun activities going on for the kids. Okay, you got to go easy on them. All right, no like huge power serves, and we're not acing eight year olds. Uh, what is it like for a pro tennis player, age 19, you're a star at, at Duke? What's it like right before the tournament? How do you feel? As I said off air, you seem loose as a goose. Yeah, I'm. I'm used to it by now. I try to have my own rituals and just pay attention on what I'm used to, and I know it by now. I know the rituals, so I am loose as a goose, yeah. Who, who do you really <laughs> admire as a player, be it present-day tennis or through the history? Who do you uh, like to model your game after? Not necessarily model it after anyone, but I love Federer. Definitely a Federer fan. What about him? His composure, I think, the way he respects all his opponents, just the way he acts. I've met him before. He's a really nice person. So. By the way, what is it like when you're serving? I always look at pro players <laughs> and I see the amount of speed you're able to get and hitting it into this tiny little area. Is that just practice repetition and the thousands of hours? Serving is really hard. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I guess so. It's a lot of practice. Mike, if I played Maria, would I be able to get one single point? Uh, I mean, that'd be tough. She's a good player. That is a hard no yeah. right there. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. Uh, there is an open wild card challenge element to this. Uh, talk about what that means for the casual tennis fan. Oh, we have a few wild cards that we give out as a tournament. Uh, we gave one out through a national level three tournament. Uh, we awarded one to the UNLV number one player. Um, and then we also have a main draw that we gave out to one of our former champions, Lauren Davis, this year. And then the, uh, the USA also has their wild cards that they give out as well. Maria, you've been ranked as high as number 26 in the ITF World Junior Ranking. Where do you see yourself in your high hopes and goals for your career in maybe a half decade? I'd like to be top 10. In the world? I would like to, yeah. Why not? That's and if yeah. you are top 10, we will play clips of this interview and go, okay. we knew her back then. <laughs> okay. So we are wishing you all the best in the Thank tournament. You. We know you guys got to get out of here and get some pre-match pizza. So <laughs> yeah. we wish you the best in the tournament. We remind you, Red Rock Country Club in Summerlin, November 4th to 11th. And here's the website to get more information, redrockproopen.com. Mike and Maria, thank you so much for your time. Thanks Thank for having you. us.